Hi, I'm Gabrielle Hamilton. Hi, I'm Mitch Tebow. And we're talking to Playbill about the national tour of Rogers and Hammerstein's Oklahoma. Oklahoma. Don't praise my charm too much. Don't look so vain with me. Most of the challenges, of course, were on the directorial end with, with Daniel and Michaela, his associate director. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, we went from basically um, a thrust configuration, almost an arena configuration, right, uh, to proscenium presentation in all the roadhouses that we're on. There is no way to do what we did at Circle or at St. Anne's, right, in these houses on the road. They are proscenium houses and you have to restage it for that. In the in St. Anne's and in the rounds, I had to dance, what I, which I say is 360. So even though I would turn my back, there would still be audience members that would still see me and I would see them in the corner of my eye. And also, we also had that intimacy in St. Anne's and in the round, like we had the people here with us on the ground, you know, it's very intense. And so now with the proscenium, like, I think of it as, cause I grew up in the proscenium stage. So it's actually like coming back home into what I used to do when I was three years old and growing up and, you know, dancing with my dance company, my old dance company. So, but now the material is just different. Like the dream ballet is so, erotic sporadic and then so much but there's also just like moments of stillness and how do you project stillness in a proscenium stage i think the most difficult part of it was um trying to find the intimacy of the show in these spaces right i mean uh both saint anne's and circle are under a thousand seats i think i think circle is like 680 is the capacity right there um on the road you, uh, right now, we're in the forest in Philadelphia. That's an 1,800-seat um, auditorium. We've been in uh, auditoriums over 2,000, close to 3,000, right? Uh, so these are very large, large houses compared to uh, what we played in in any of the venues. I was in for all four iter iterations, right? I was up at Bard and then to uh, St. Anne's and then Broadway and then now out on the road. Um, so that has been, I think, the real challenge of the show. It's very comforting, alarming, and insightful to see the reactions throughout the country. Because we are all on different frequencies and we all, we take in entertainment differently. And so I've actually had, engagements with audience members i feel like a lot of people in the country is afraid to ask questions because they don't know what to ask one or two they do know what to ask but they don't know if they want to receive the answer the difficult part that that we run into is is what what has the audience experienced what is their history you know what is their experience with theater Right. Um, we have a great, strong industry, you know, that that pushes a lot of theater out throughout the country. Right. Most of it's sourced in Broadway. Right. And then moving out to play or play around the country. And that's a very vital part of the industry. Right. Keeps a lot of actors employed. Um, uh, but a lot of many of these houses are subscription based so you don't have people who are really sitting down and going reading about oklahoma and going oh that sounds really interesting i want to go and see that it's part of a package that they bought right so they show up on a night to see oklahoma and many of them come in with expectations that they're going to see uh Gordon mccray you know that this is they're a little surprised by what happens on stage, right? Let, let's put it that way. They're a little surprised by it. I think we do a pretty good job of winning them over into the story, right? Even if 
even if they're not used to downtown theater. From the response we've, we've been getting, you know, they, they, they come around to it and they understand it and are moved by it in the end. I want them to be able to be open. And I say that because it's so hard for anyone to be open and to not have control of the outcome, to not see what's going to, like what's, what's the unknown they have to be comfortable with. And I've been saying that since, I've been saying this since I started the Dream Ballet because I've seen up close the reactions of people reacting to the Dream Ballet. And that was in New York. And New York is represented as more of an open community when it comes to the arts, when it comes to our industry. So I say this as a challenge because it's hard to be open. It's hard to let go of control. It's hard to let go of your own perception and enjoy the ride. What is that? What is that speaking about you? It's not about the work now. It's about you. I love the Dream Ballet because it's not only working with people in their five senses and uh, just bringing the Dream Ballet differently to the to the world, but now we're bringing up and having art challenge the mind, which is what art is. Art is a challenger. Art is what um, it brings new things. Like it sparks things in people. That's what we do. And so now that we have this conflicting thing, people are very conflicted with the Dream Ballet before they even get inside the Dream Ballet. Every actor wants the audience to have a good time, right? We want to, and where that good time is, weeping because Romeo and Juliet are dead, right? Right? Or laughing uproariously, uproariously because Zero Mostel is so funny and a funny thing happened the way the form, you know? You know, theater is this broad spectrum of, of of art. So it's 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 wonderful to have this much time to rediscover the show in a new way. I mean, yeah, this is the show I did it at Bar. This is the show I did at St. Anne's. This is the show I did at Circle, but it's not either. It's its own show. And I think that's been the, that's been the, the, the joy of this, of this process, right? Is working with these new people and going out on the road and them being new to it themselves, right? It, you know, it takes an actor a while. That's why you have two to six weeks of previews before you actually bring the critics in because you need that much time with an audience to sort of sort out, you know, what am I doing up here, right? Um, and of course, the other thing is the key to, to theater is this is a feedback system. It's not just us up on the stage doing the show. It's what the audience is thinking and how they're reacting and the energy that they're sending back to us up on the stage that makes a real difference every night in, in terms of, of a show. And that's why you never see the same show twice. Mm -hmm.